Hello everyone, I'm Kim Horcher and in your entertainment fix for July 1st, Pedro Pascal is going to enter a fighting pit again. Maybe it'll go better for him this time. Inside Out 2 has not only overtaken Dune Part 2's box office, it's a record-setting billion dollar movie. And there's a new Hellboy movie coming out based on one of the comic's most popular runs. All this and more in today's fix. And happy Monday to everyone except that idiot Kristen Cole from House of the Dragon. Uh, Pedro Pascal blew up in Game of Thrones, so see? It connects. Vanity Fair shared the first images of the internet's favorite daddy in Ridley Scott's long-awaited 24 years later sequel to Gladiator. Here we see Pascal as Roman general Marcus Acacius, his character is said to have trained under Russell Crowe's Maximus, which doesn't bode well for his character since Maximus died in the first movie, and for the fact that he is facing off with Paul Mezcal's character Lucius, who seems to be the protagonist. Oh, Pedro, not again. They are joined by Denzel Washington, who plays an arms dealer called Macronus. Connie Nielsen returns as Lucilla, the mother of Lucius. Both mother and son were seen in the original movie. Gladiator 2 picks up decades after the original, when Lucius ends up a prisoner of Rome despite being the Emperor's grandson. Pascal says his character, despite being a protege of Crow's Maximus, is, quote, a different person, and that can't change who he is. Maximus is Maximus, and that can't be replicated. That just makes a Casey is capable of different things. You too can be entertained when Gladiator 2 releases November 22nd. Barbenheimer never met her. I'm all about Inside Deadpool 2. Or should it be Wolverine Side Out? Huh? Okay, what I mean is that Inside Out 2 has passed $1 billion in the box office as of this weekend, becoming 2024's first billion dollar movie worldwide. Who could have expected people would be drawn to a movie starring the embodiment of anxiety? I could. Inside Out 2 has also set the record for being the fastest ever animated feature to earn more than a billion dollars at the global box office in just 19 days, surpassing 2019's Frozen 2 from Disney, which took 25 days. However, Avengers Endgame still holds as the fastest billion dollar movie ever in only five days. Inside Out 2 continues the story of Inside Out 1, a beloved Pixar movie that itself raked in a very respectable $858 million in 2015 and earned the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. We'll see if the Inside Out sequel takes in awards, but it is a much needed win for Pixar at the very least, which saw its worst box office returns for 2023's Elemental and less than favorable returns for 2022's Lightyear. Pixar needed a win, and oh man, did they get a big one. This has us wondering though, could Inside Out 2 actually earn more than Deadpool and Wolverine? Expect it to be a massive box office juggernaut. See what I did there? From self-proclaimed Marvel Jesus, Ryan Reynolds, and co-starring Hugh Jackman's fan favorite return as Wolverine, Deadpool and Wolverine is anticipated to be Marvel's return to its box office dominating form when it releases July 26th. It also marks Marvel's only feature film release this year, breaking a years-long streak of three releases per year in a new strategy. Which movie do you think will come out on top? Let us know in the comments. And finally, we have a new look at Hellboy, played this time by Jack Kessie in Hellboy, The Crooked Man. This is based on a popular Hellboy comic, Hellboy, The Crooked Man and Others, originally penned by, of course, creator Mike Mignola. The story follows Hellboy in 1950s Appalachia as he works with a rookie Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense agent to save a community plagued by witches and, of course, The Crooked Man. Cassie, who, connecting back to our second story, previously played Black Tom Cassidy in Deadpool 2, is the third actor to play Hellboy. Previously, the role was played by David Harbour, and before that, Ron Perlman. But this is more than an actor change, as the tone of the new film seems decidedly more rooted in horror. Quote, The Crooked Man is a departure from all previous Hellboy films where Mike Mignola and the creator of the comics will finally shepherd an authentic version of his stories and characters in film form, said Millennium's president Jeffrey Greenstein when it was announced. 
maybe shading the other adaptations, who knows? Greenstein added that this will be the first in a series of Hellboy films, so fans can look forward to more in this line of the horrified reboot. Hellboy The Crooked Man will be out later this year. There's no exact release date yet, but I would guess sometime in spooky season. And that was your entertainment fix. I'm Kim Horcher, and thanks for watching. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out today's gaming fix, which also features some different Deadpool related news. And I am also in it. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for all things entertainment and gaming, you're already in the right place. IGN.com.